Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to The Drop. I'm to hear more. And I'm Meg Scoop. And we have a first. Yesterday, Officer Betty Shelby was charged with first degree manslaughter and the death of Terrence Crutcher in Tulsa, Oklahoma last Friday. Now, she turned herself in early this morning. Yeah, but she was released like 20 minutes later. True. I mean, she posted the $50,000 bond. She got out. So we'll see what happens. I'm happy that finally an officer is being charged with killing somebody, which we've seen time and time again. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, is it really going to stick? I mean, what the, what's the point of a charge if it's not going to end up in a conviction? After all the officers got off of Freddie Gray's case, right. I'm not holding my breath to this. We're going to have to watch this one play out before I start doing backflips and hooraying for justice. Because we've been here before too, guys. Let's not act like we haven't. Now, she says that Terrence Crutcher was acting erratically. And because she's a drug expert, she felt that he was on something. If you have five other officers around you, why would you feel like you were in fear of your life? They are trained to shoot to kill. When they go to the shooting range, they are trained to shoot right. in their chest. And that's what they do more times than not. Then we gotta fix the training because why would you kill somebody? The goal should not be to kill people. It should be, you know what? You need to be apprehended and you need to have your day in court because that's what the justice system is supposed to be. I agree with that 100%. Now the medical examiner said that a gunshot wound to the chest was the cause of death for Terrence Crutcher and also the manner in which he died was homicide. There's no toxicology report yet, but I feel like when it comes back, we're gonna find out he wasn't on anything. I don't care if he was on something. He could have been chasing Bill Cosby Quaaludes with Mad Dog 2020 that still don't justify him being shot. That's true. So what do you think to hear? Is Officer Shelby going to get convicted for first degree manslaughter or is she gonna get off? I have no way of judging it. I do think that they will try to make an example out of her. You know what I mean? Like she's a female cop yes, and they're gonna be like she's emotional and they will try to shift the blame to her inexperience or lack of experience of being on the force. And she's gonna basically be the scapegoat for all of these police charge riots and protesting is gonna fall on her, which is a fair, but hey, it needs to start somewhere. Somebody gotta take this. The fact that she was able to get bonded out in less than 30 minutes, I, I don't know, I just don't think it's going to stick. Um, I think it was one of those formalities like, hey, we gotta charge you so it doesn't look so bad on us as a department. But don't worry, girl, we got you. I, I just hope that's not what the, the case is that it's, I, I hope it's not like that. I hope that's not what's gonna happen, but we don't know. You see that? I hope cops or lawyers or someone is watching this. We have no faith in you guys. None. None. Well, I don't. Meg still has faith that there's good cops out there. Faith of a mustard seed. I don't have any faith in cops. No good ones, fam. So we want to hear from you. Do you think Officer Shelby will actually get convicted of the first degree murder charge, or do you think she'll get off? Put it in the comments below. And as always, guys, remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'm to hear more. And I'm Meg Scoop. We'll see you next week right here on The Drop.